Welcome to Stories of Great Hymns. The hymn writer, John Newton, lost his beloved, godly mother when he was but a lad of seven. At eleven, he went to sea. With his father, who owned a sailing vessel, they made five voyages to the Mediterranean. When war with France seemed imminent, he was drafted into the Royal Navy. Well, he deserted ship, was captured, flogged at the mast, and dismissed from Her Majesty's service. Then John joined the crew of a slave trading ship. Eventually, he became a captain. For six years, he braved the seas, carrying cargoes of slaves. Well, it was during these dark days that Newton drifted from his mother's godly teachings and well, he assumed the life of a profligate. But he was restless, miserable, even plagued by thoughts of suicide. But mercifully, God's hand was upon John Newton. He had read Thomas A. Kempis, The Imitation of Christ, and he was moved to seek out the dissenters. Now, the dissenters were groups of believers in stern opposition to the established Anglican Church. In 1754, he left the sea, and with his devoted wife, Mary Catlett, settled down in Liverpool and worked as a tide surveyor. As time allowed, he studied the scriptures in Hebrew and Greek, became closely associated with George Whitfield and the Wesleys. Occasionally, John preached. In 1764... He was ordained in the Church of England, and he was appointed curate of Olney. Here, he formed a close friendship with the poet William Cowper. Collaborating, they composed the hymns for a book entitled The Olney Hymns, and it was a great success. In 1780, Newton was appointed vicar at St. Mary Woolnoth, London. There, he continued to preach almost until his death, but <laughs> Newton spoke just as eloquently through his many hymns. Undoubtedly, the most famous and beloved of his hymns is Amazing Grace. The familiar last stanza was written sometime later by another composer and added to Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed. Through many dangers, toils, and snares I have already come. Tis grace hath brought me safe thus far, and and grace will lead me home. The Lord has promised good to me, His word my hope secures. He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures. When we've been there 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun, we've no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. Join us next time when we'll talk of another great hymn writer. Today, you heard Larry Shackley at the synthesizer, and this is Rex Brenner for Stories of Great Hymns.